The following video is going to show you how to use the clone stamp tool in Adobe Photoshop. So let's say I'm looking at a picture and right now I'm looking at a picture of myself and let's say I want to erase myself from this picture and make it look like I was never standing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select something called the clone stamp tool which you can see right here. Clone stamp. All right. Once I have the clone stamp tool selected, I can look at the top of my screen and I can see several options. I'm going to choose a big brush size since I'm kind of big in this picture. I'm going to choose a brush size of, let's see, 200 pixels looks about good. All right. So what I do for the clone stamp tool, first thing, I need to pick a picture that I want to replace. I will start begin by getting rid of my legs. So if I click right next to my legs, and I click the Alt Option key. This is on a Macintosh, maybe a different key on a PC, but it's one of the keys around the Shift and Control key. Basically, you want to do it so that when you press the key, you see a bullseye. What I'm going to do when I see the bullseye is I am going to click my mouse one time. I click my mouse and let it go. At this point, I simply look at an image and start to draw over it. And now, if I look at the right side of this, my brush on the screen I see a plus sign moving along with my picture that is what I'm actually copying so what I'm doing is I'm actually copying part of an image and I have to keep doing it I held the alt key press the mouse and I copy again what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of my leg in the picture press the alt key get rid of this shell a few times because I've already seen it once um, and I can continue on with this process to get rid of everything in the picture. And right now, let me zoom out, and you can already see that my legs are gone. If I keep doing this, I can get rid of everything. Take some time to get it perfect. But eventually it would appear as if I was not in the picture. Basically what I would do is I would, now this, when there's a line here, you have to be very careful to make it even. You can see that I messed up just a little bit. So this isn't 100% even, but you can see I'm starting to get rid of myself. And if I spent my time working on this, I would eventually be able to delete myself out of the picture and it would look picture perfect. So this is how you use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop.